Alright, um, got me a Picatinny rail mount for my GoPro camera. And cost a dollar, or a dollar, eleven dollars and fifty two cents on Walmart, or Walmart, on Amazon, um, total shipping and handling. Um, actually, it was, where is it? Uh, six dollars and fifty three cents, um, and four dollars and nine nine cents for shipping and handling. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. It didn't come with a thumb screw, so I've just been using one of the screws that I already got. Um, so that's actually it. And it came with two other little nuts. Okay, so I'm going out up and dropping it onto the floor. There we go. Um, one thing that's odd about it is with the other mounts it's got a three prong system because the ca the case has two but this one only has two so it kind of fits in there like that um, one thing you gotta be careful about especially on my I only have two guns that have two mounts so one of them is my Glock 30 my magazine chamber is empty because on this one, how the rail of the hole here will slot is so close to the muzzle. There we go. You gotta make sure to mount that in the right way, so you want the bar to go forward. So, and you can mount it facing you or facing away. I'm gonna put it facing away right now because it's kind of stupid on this one. I'll hold it up there to show you why it's kind of stupid. Let's tilt this down a little bit so it's actually going to be more in my hand. Now, another thing is, it's not recessed like the other ones are. So the nut will just sit there and turn. So I just use a pair of pliers and grab hold of it to tighten it down. And it holds pretty secure. I mean, I don't, I don't have it really tight, but, you know. And let me put the camera in here real quick. There we go. Um, it's already set up upside down. But, don't forget to hang it. Or mount or flip the camera to view upside down and you switch it open. I'm just gonna do pictures and make a video. Um, so you just line up the slot at the little bar there. And just line it up and tighten it down. I'm not gonna tighten it really good, but just enough. And so this hangs there. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick picture. I'm just going to go to the trigger here. I mean, as you see, it's a further loose. I don't have it tightened down. I have it finger tight. So. so that's what you see. I mean, you can like, tilt it up a little bit if you want to get more laser flash. I don't, can't tell if you can really see like, the barrel or anything. And the reason I think it's kind of lame. Hmm. Let me this down here. To put it backwards. Is you're really not going to see too much. I'm just going to try and flip this on here. I don't need to hold on real tight. Just not to, because I mean that's what you're gonna see. So I'm gonna go take a picture. I mean you might be able to see my face. Let me just put the other one in. Okay, so but then I get one on my my carbon fifteen AR pistol. Again, my magazine empty chamber. 
and I like that on this one because I can mount it back here. I already play around with this, but I kind of know what this stuff is going to look like. And you can actually kind of see the front sight. I go ahead and put some pictures up at the end of this. And, you know, you see the front sight. You're going to get muzzle blasts and stuff. Um, if I want to, I can kind of bend it down. And I'm just going to stick my fingers in the ejection port. You can kind of see the shells coming out. Casings. You can also mount it like up on the front. This blew up. So get broke it. Muzzle shots with that one. And uh, this is the one that I think would be kind of neat a few times. See if you can mount it facing backwards. Now, see, this one, it doesn't matter on this, but on this one, you've got plenty of rail. But then you can yourself to the end. And what's really cool about this to me is not only does it give a unique perspective of that range, but for training, and I just did this all the way down now. Okay, I'll flip them before I. It's a good thing about the still image, I can kind of flip them, it doesn't matter. Um, like, if you're training on cornering, you can actually kind of see a little bit better where the muzzle is pointing. Um, another good tactical reason, maybe not something as large as this, but you can miniaturize cameras to like a guide rod or really a really small one, is you can put your weapon around a corner and be able to see what's around there. So there's a tactical advantage of a camera on your weapon. Um, with the miniaturization of cameras and everything um, I do feel that one day police issued weapons and even military weapons maybe maybe be standard with cameras because then you get to see exactly what happened at that shooting um, because there's been times where um, an officer drew his weapon and fired um, turned out to be a wallet or something. Well, then you actually get to see what he saw, or at least what the weapon saw before it pulled, before the shirt got pulled. So there is that. Um, there's also just the coolness of it. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna slap this back on there real quick. And I'm gonna do a quick little video. Like when you do the recoil, it gets a huge jump of it. Also, I didn't even think about this at the time. But doing a time lapse. So you're like, dang. Yeah, so I'm put all that at the end there. So, hopefully, I'll be able to go to the range soon and hopefully I'll be at a range I can fire a rifle and have that so I can shoot that AR pistol. So there you go. Do the recoil, I get to see the jump of it.